Okay, today we're going to tie a, just a functional squala pattern. There are lots of different squala patterns out there people can use. This is just one of them. The ingredients we're using today are for the body materials. We're using seal fur. Another substitute for seal fur would be Angora goat. We happen to have olive dun seal fur and gold seal fur there. The wing will be out of uh, elk hair. The thread will actually be a mono. I'm a big fan of utilizing mono. And we have a piece of foam there for kind of a high vis post. Some poly yarn for an underwing. And so let's get started here. So the hook we're going to use today is a uh, Dairiki number 10 model 700 secured here in the vise a layer of thread here actually I'm using mono as stated earlier with a good base layer on there We're going to tie in an egg sac. A lot of the squalas, especially obviously the female, will have an egg sac. And so we're going to tie it kind of, say, one third the way up the shank so that our body isn't too long. Yet we have a prominent egg sac coming off the back, which adds some buoyancy as well as realistic factor there. We're going to dub in some uh, Olive Dunn seal fur here. Like I said, a good substitute for that would be Angora, or you can even use synthetics. Let's apply some dubbing here on the, on the mono here. I don't like to go too heavy on that. We want a pretty, pretty skinny profile body. One thing I like about using the mono is that when you are finished applying the, um, the dubbing, instead of actually using a ribbing, you can use the mono as a ribbing and secure down the, the materials, trim it up a little. It actually gives a lifelike luster as well as uh, certainly light. Okay, right now we're going to tie in the underwing. This is just a poly yarn. Which also kind of aids in the buoyancy as well as uh, gives kind of a luster look underneath underwing. We'll tie forward we will tie forward the overlay, foam overlay, which adds to visibility as well as durability. There we are. Now we'll add in the uh, thorax color of kind of a gold, amber gold. Oops, before we do that, we need to put our actual elk hair wing in. And we'll tie it forward as well because this will be, this will be tied basically as a, um, a Madame X style. We don't want to go too heavy on this one. We already have an under underwing here of poly, so I actually had air on being lighter. About the same length of the hook. We'll tie her in, secure it down. And when you wrap back, you just wrap over all of those butts, which will really secure that wing in. Come through and trim up those butts.
like I said, I err on being lighter on the wing than heavier on the wing here. Now we'll use our thorax color of the gold amber. You can use a variety of things. You could actually use black as well, depending on what you're looking for. You know, the actual color of the squala is uh, anywhere from a, a black, yellowish, to olive, to all black. So just a couple combo color combos are, is, is a worthy angle here. Come back, secure, we'll fold back our wing here. There's our bullet head. Now we'll bring that foam back, and that foam back adds to the visibility and the durability of that, uh, of that, uh, and covers that, um, that Madame X style uh, wing there. Put it in a couple legs on each side. I always tie those legs in fairly long or longer than you think you need and then you can trim back as needed. Sometimes the fish will get a little pickier on longer legs or, or want a longer leg so it's easy to trim back. It certainly isn't easy to add. And there you are. Just basically a uh, Madame X style, a Madame X style um, squala. It's two-toned black and uh, and kind of a gold amber and I'd probably want to trim up the uh, the egg sac to not look so square so we'll just cut a bevel on each side and there you go Squala time on the Yakima have a great day now